All right, 30 days after cutting, and now with a little bit of rain, we got a lot of fresh new canary grass growth. Here's an old stand of canary grass. That's what I cut. And right here is the results. And this I expect to dry out here pretty soon. And it'll be, I mean, I suppose the deer can eat it, put it in their stomach, but they need to have some greens. And also the bird's foot trefoil. That was being crowded out by the canary grass. When I started cutting it, this is my third season of cutting, that's all coming back. And that fixes nitrogen, and now it's fixing nitrogen for canary grass. Canary grass as a food plot forage for deer. I don't know if I'm going to put a camera on it this year or not. I'm doing a lot of public land scouting right now. Maybe I'll get one on here the next time it downpours. We'll see what I do. That's where the trail camera goes. Maybe I'll buy a couple more. But here, this was a very thick stand of canary grass. You can see all the browning stalks. It's kind of covering them up a little bit. It's taking them a little bit of time to get up through it. That's okay. We want it to be green October and November. When the leaves fall off the trees, the deer start to eat it. And a little patch here I cut. All right, looks good. I don't know if I threw some parsnip seeds in here. Or is that, maybe that's that poisonous hemlock or whatever they call it. I'll have to see what it looks like when it gets larger. All right.